You, you you screwed me over last season, but not this time. This time things are different. Little ball, little shot on the. He's onside. Yeah, man. Why has my defense just allowed uh, uh, an offensive player to have that much space in the box? That is that is absolutely unacceptable. Connor Bradley, I'm looking at you for that, son. That is a bit unacceptable from you. Hey, my dudes, how you doing? I hope you're having a goddamn great day. We have got the biggest month of our season to date, of the career mode, to be honest with you. And it starts off with an away game to Nottingham Forest. Now, we've recently just beaten them in, I think it was the FA Cup 5-2 at Forest. So we've got the edge, we've got the advantage, but the crowd, they're going to be on our asses, and we need to make sure that we are firing on all cylinders. We then have a home game to Spurs. Tough. They want their revenge after that 5-0 drubbing. And then we find ourselves away to Burnley, which is quite nice. It's a nice, easy game. I say that now, but we might lose that. It's an easy game away from home just before Manchester United away. Champions League quarterfinal. Well, I'm, I, look, look. It could have been a lot worse. I haven't actually seen the other opponents, but I do know it could always have been a lot worse. We've seen what Man United are capable of this season. They're not doing very well in the league. And somewhat, somehow, that does tell me that they will try a little bit harder, a little bit more in the Champions League. But I think we can handle them. I say that now, again, but who knows. But between those two Man United ties in the Champions League is Arsenal away from home. What the hell, man? What the hell? Anyways... We then have uh, an FA Cup game versus Sunderland, which I'm forever grateful for because we, again, could have gotten a much harder side. So yes, we've got Sunderland, and then we'll end off the episode versus Brentford at home. Another tricky game, but I do think that if we come through this month with flying colours, we could potentially be in an FA Cup final, almost have wrapped up the league, and definitely a, a Champions League semi-final. If, if things go according to plan. If not, the season falls apart, and we're still in the league, potentially for our first ever Premier League title. Okay, kicking things off here at the City Ground. It's going to be a tough affair, but I have faith in the boys. McNamara, the the, the full strength first team eleven start. Um, yeah, we need to we need to set down the the, the game plan, the law for this episode because if we get off to a bad start, well, the trajectory for everything is not looking great. Great ball. We've got Connor Bradley back into Haraldson. Haraldson looking to pot up. Pot off, pop off a shot, early doors, 10 minutes gone, and we strike first. No goal. That's fine, that's okay. Haraldson testing Kepper. We know that Kepper always needs to have a shot at him. He could potentially always let one crazy shot in. So, uh, again, we're, we're just going to pop off shots, and he's bound to make a mistake now or later. And, um, yep, anyways, we've opened up the scoring regardless. That's our super sub, right? Well, not even our super sub, our super big man in uh, Jared Branthwaite. He opens up the scoring for West Brom. I think he did it in the last one as well. I'm not too sure, but nonetheless, very happy with the results. Great whipping, I must say. Um, Matt O'Reilly has become absolutely insane with his corner kick deliveries. You can see he's been working on it. You know, club captain Jed Wallace and him are training there. They're there every day after the sessions, practicing on it, and it's now starting to show in games. Lays it back into Connor Gallagher, and he gets fouled on the edge of the box. Is it a pin? I don't know. It could be. It could be a pin. I'm going to save it for the replay. Posh or posh. And that's a pin, actually. That that looks like it's a pin from this angle. Why do I not? Oh, wait. That's not me. That's that's Steve Cooper. Why does Steve Cooper not have socks on? And why is Haraldson taking the penalty? All these questions are about to be answered fairly soon. Uh, Haraldson is our best Pen take on the field, okay. Uh, if we go to penalty shootouts, we're so screwed. But anyways, I've put it in some good green areas, and bang, 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 you know what the result is. Haraldson with a goal. To be fair, he hasn't scored that many, and I think him being on the pens, for now anyway, um, it can obviously boost his uh, overalls. Well, they've worked it around the likes of um, Lloyd Kelly into Langer, down this wide right space. Whipped into the back. Well, okay, against the run of play, they've opened up their scoring accounts, and I think it's Hudson Odoi with the goal. Nonetheless, 2 1. Let's get back on track, boys. That absolutely infuriates me. And it's Ramsey again, man. Last season, it was Ramsey who derailed us late, and this time, Ramsey makes it 2 2 in the game. There was one minute added on just before half-time. We are right against the run of play here. Dotting Forest have found some confidence. 
Ref, blow the whistle. The ball's gone from end to end in that time. Blow the goddamn whistle. Now we have to restart everything from the second half. Here we go. Into Haraldson. Haraldson's been my, my best performer so far today. Which doesn't say much. And that's that's not, that's not even going to be a corner kick. Okay, we are going to expect some changes. It is very late in this one. There's about 10 or so minutes to go. Sanko is going to come on. Maybe I should like go back to Sanko in a way. I think that he might be a better option later on down the, the stretch of the season. We've given McNamara a run of games. He's been very good. Still using him as, as an impact sub off the bench. But obviously, it's it's the business area of, of the season. So we need to make sure that we're all there, all invested, and we have the best possible players to succeed for the team. Uh, Branthwaite, he has been good, but Saar is going to come on. And it's all about the rotation. We will also go with a more offensive structure now. Now that we've made these changes. So, so he's found the likes of Connor Bradley in the space down this right flank. There's this. There's no time. There's no time like the presence. Come on, Connor Bradley, you flippin' beauts. <sighs> it's times like this where I'm so grateful for signing him. Honestly, he has been. He's been everything that you would want and more out of a right back. He, pro he provides the assists, he provides the attacking outlet when needed. He provides that burst from, from that wide area and oh my, oh my, he's put it in the top corner. That's what I'm talking about. Trent, who? I've got flipping Connor Brady for the rescue. Hold that Nottingham Forest. You thought you were back in the game, you thought you had secured yourself a point, but just like with Liverpool the other day, you bottled it late on with a few seconds to go. Hold it, Jacob Ramsey, please. You, you, you screwed me over last season, but not this time. This time, things are different. This time, it's more special. Okay, it's press conference time. We weren't favorites at the start of the season, but there's a handful of games to go, and the, the Premier League title is in our touch. We can almost, bing, touch that stuff. So, it's going to be a tough finish to the season. We've still got Man City to play. We've, we are playing the likes of Spurs right now. If we can get those wins, oh, it could be beautiful. If we don't, well... It could, it, could, it could fall apart, but I am thinking of reinstating Sanko back into the starting lineup. We, we see this all the time with other teams. The, they give certain players a run of games, and they're quite happy to tick and change, and we've done that. McNamara, you are absolutely golden child number one, but you're not there yet, champ, and it does take a while for, for you to obviously grow in overalls and whatnot. So I am thinking, let's go with the, the high overall Sanko. He obviously has and is wanting to prove himself. I've, I've put him on the bench for long enough. He is hungry, and I think I might be able to activate that hunger in the key moments and, and part of the season. Just making some changes before the game does kick off. And I'm thinking, let's, let's play Mullen. Uh, I was very impressed with Mullen in that last episode. So we are going to give him a try. Mullen and Sanko both come in. But otherwise, maybe Haraldson can come out. For, for Wallace, you, you know what, okay, so essentially a front three change, but other than that, I'm quite happy with the squad at hand, uh, with this career mode so far, so, we've got the ball here, with the, the, the man who broke Spurs' whole mentality in the last one, uh, Matt O'Reilly into Conor Gallagher, Conor Gallagher, tight shot, and it's blocked, it could have gone in, but it's gone out for a corner kick. Now, we need to be lethal with these. That's also why we've brought in Jed Wallace. We need to be absolutely on point with the free kicks. Oh, my God. And it's a near post flick. And I think that was Mullen with a potential opportunity to open up the scoring. That would be great, to be honest with you. And uh, we're doing it again. But this time, back post oh, in, in the middle of the goal, really. And um, goalkeeper makes his, his way to it. Woodman plays it long and it's intercepted. Kicker-ish. I, I need to maybe not attack down this left-hand side. No, no. Trying to platform the back. We've got a big court in possession and Spurs open up the scoring. 1-0 down early on in this one. Or not even early on, but... We've been made to pay with a mistake from the back. No, no, no. Branthwaite's been caught in possession yet again. Ah. Great save. That could have been very bad. A quick counter here, though, just before the just before the half ends, just like with what you know the 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 the, the Nottingham Forest flipping players did to us. And why why do my players continuously not stick with their back post runs? It's actually doing my head in. Sanko and now I forget who it is. Mullen, I think, not making that back post run. They always run central. They're looking for the cutback. Look for the back post tapping. 
please. And they fall over on the ball and get the... Oh my god. Was that, that was onside, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, it wasn't. Jesus Christ, my chest. <laughs> Shit. Oh, now you decide to get a, a grip of this game. Get wrecked. Anyways, we are going to make some changes. Things have just not been working out. Mulan. It's not there, son. It's not there. Uh, Matcha is going to come on. We need to overload them. Sanko's also not been great. <laughs> Anyways. Connor Brady's also coming out for Kuto. It's about it's about the squad. I know it's a massive game. Um, but we are going to make those three changes for now. And then anything over and above that we'll make later. Into the likes of McNamara. McNamara cuts it inside. He's doing his thing. Make the run, Jed Wallace. Lays it in to club captain. Jed Wallace with the goal! And McNamara with the assist. You know, maybe, maybe, just maybe I made a mistake. Maybe questioning the hunger of the young talents, finding the old boy, the, the, the club captain, Jed Wallace. God damn it, that's what we've been wanting, that's what we've been needing. I've also gone with a slightly more offensive structure, stretching Spurs, and it's allowed the space to, to be created, and um, they've given us a, a gap to try and ex execute them, essentially, and we've done a great job of that. Oh, Jen Wallace! Don't do it to them like this, my man! Oh, little ball, little shot on the... He's onside! Yeah, man! Why do I question... Flipping James McNamara every time. I, I I question the 70 overall. But my god, he's incredible. Oh, Jesus Christ. That could possibly be the worst thing to happen to this team. Whoever went in behind like that on Timber is an absolute scumbag. You absolute scumbag. We're going to bring on Cullen and drop Sosa into that uh, defensive line area. Oh my god. That could derail our season. I'm not even I'm not I'm not even like taking the piss here or adding extra tension. Hopefully it's it's like a two week thing. He's going to miss the Man United games now, which is terrible. God You do you know how much this pisses me off? Like, my blood is boiling. Hopefully you get well soon, Timber. At least he's walked off and he hasn't had to be stretched off. That's the only positive I can say. But it's not good nonetheless. Into Kuto this time. Kuto up against Kekoresh, who has been brilliant. He's Kekoresh has 1,000% been Spurs' best player. But you know who's been our best player? Our club captain! Goddamn, Jed Wallace. Hold that L, Spurs. You deserve it. You've injured one of our players. You could effectively ruin our season... But Josh Madger has put the absolute dagger in whatever title hopes you possibly had, and that's, that does soothe the, the, the vengeful soul ever so slightly. Off. Oh, his season is over, bro. His, his whole season is over because of some spiteful Spurs player. Yeah, yeah. A broken toe, yeah, he's out for the season. Uh, our, our most, one of our most important positions, one where we don't have that much, um, you know, depth. Uh, Saw and, 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 and yeah, they're, they're going to have to try and see us through. Now, the, the, the question that, that I do have is, do we start, you know, James McNamara's brother? He does have Bruiser, he does have Jockey, he could be a very good developmental player for us. I am going to give him the start versus uh, Burnley. Oh, I mean, the, the Premier League season is not exactly wrapped up, but it essentially is. We'll have a look at the league table now, and I'll then be able to decide whether we play Saar or McNamara going forward in the back line. Okay, so we have got... Eight games to go in the Premier League season. We are currently nine points clear of second place, Arsenal, who we do play in the next few games. God. We play them in the next few games. I think it is away from home. Or it could be... A, I can't remember. But we do play them. And um, if we win, basically titles wrapped up. If we don't, well, things do get a bit spicy from there on in. 
We need to beat Burnley, obviously. We need to focus on Man United in the Champions League, and then we will have a look at Spurs. But for now, I, I'm quite confident to start McNamara versus Burnley and Saar versus um, Manchester United. Maja, nice little around the corner pass into Matt O'Reilly. Matt O'Reilly puts it back in. Sanko, back into Mac Matt O'Reilly. Matt O'Reilly, near post efforts. Oh my God. And uh, five minutes in, and Mirosic is forced into making a save. O'Reilly, though, to put it into the box. I see Maja's forehead. And it's it's uh, cleared away. Back into Matt O'Reilly. Little in-swinger. It's okay. It's all right. We've come away with the ball as well, which is fantastic. See, it's it's times like this, like this. There's not enough movements up front to try and generate anything. Oh, he's put in his own net. Just, just you know, we need a bit, a bit more pace to the, the the rotations, and I think we can confuse this burning lot very nicely. And to be fair, they've already put the ball in the back of the nets. They're already throwing in the towel. And to be honest with you, we don't have the best overall backline right now. So we need to keep the ball higher up the field, maintain it as best as possible, make sure that our backline's not being tested as frequently as what it might be. And um, if we can do that, well, happy days against uh, Burnley. Oh, hello. This time it's Madger. Oh my god, goalkeeper makes a save. And uh, in two shots, we scored two goals, one being an own goal and one being one of our own. Uh, Madger stepping up hugely for us right here, right now. Looking for the little ball over the top. Cullen, former Burnley player himself. Great touch from Harold. And that, that's the kind of work rate and ethic I'm talking about. Great little in, inside ball. Back into Haraldson. Haraldson with a shot. Low and hard with the left foot. He's right footed, by the way, but with his left. Makes it 3-0 inside 22 minutes. We are going to simulate this one. Please, boys, if, if you lose it, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, but anyway, we hold on 70% possession, 8 shots, 3 attempts, or, or 3 main chances, and that resulted in 3 goals. Uh, Branthwaite came on for Bradley, it's a bit of a weird one. Gallagher on for Magic, that's fine. Mullen on for Sanko, okay, well he got his chance up front. Um, and of course it wasn't a Dodgson own goal, a Josh Magic goal, as well as a Haraldson goal. Okay, so, just taking a look at the quarterfinal games. Um, I, I kind of think we've been nice, only because Man United are not very good. We, we've seen that so far. Uh, this season last season. They were pretty decent the season before that they were in incredible But I think they've fallen off a little bit. Um, so it's Arsenal versus Milan I think um, Arsenal could get through there Bayern Munich versus Napoli now it does depend on who Napoli have if they still got Osterman and Kev Kevaric Skelia They might be able to cause a uh, hurricane and the boys some some issues But I, I do think Bayern Munich go through as well as um, Atletico Madrid I think they go through versus Borussia Dortmunds but again, it does depend on who Dortmund have signed. Although I would say that that, that Atletico Madrid are the heavy favourites. But as you can also see, there's no Man City. There's no Barcelona. Um, there's no Liverpool. So, yeah, Liverpool actually got knocked out by Atletico Madrid. So it does lead me to believe that Atletico are very much up there in terms of the quality. Um, but it looks like the quarterfinals are dominated by the English game. Three quarterfinalists from England, that's fantastic. Two from Italy, one from Germany, oh sorry, two from Germany, and one from Spain. Spain kind of falling off in this career mode so far. Okay, now because we've got quite a few games coming thick and fast, all my players will be put on all out energy. I need to try and conserve as many of those players as possible for the, the run of games coming up. Now, just before we hop on into our Champions League game, Conor Gallagher almost on, on, the, on the verge of a, of a 20 assist season, which is Kevin De Bruyne type stuff, if you if you know what I'm saying. Um, but he's got 19 assists and 15 goals. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, and he, obviously he leads the way. So let's have a look at the Man United game, see what can happen. I think there's a press conference and uh, hopefully, just hopefully, the, the, the massive blow to, to Durian Timber doesn't come back to haunt us later on in the season. Press conference time. Okay, the two uh, out of the two squads, uh, they're, they're two really good teams, to be honest. Uh, they, they are. Um, I, I, I'm quietly confident that we can maybe get this job done. Although in the past, I've said these exact same words and the team have let me down. We are a better side than the past. I, I do believe that we can go on to, you know, achieve greatness with this side. But it's also down to hard work, staying focused in games, not making those silly errors, not passing out from the back into the opposition. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a game uh, that, that's going to be highly contested, highly, you know, 
Te tempers will be flaring, but I think we can get things done here. In terms of uh, what I want, the, the boys do need to work hard. We need to stay focused. If we do go down, it's important not to throw the, the, the game away. There's still a second leg at the Hawthorns, so we need to make sure that we are fully focused with how things go. Of course, they've got Frankie de Jong. They, they're starting police tree somehow, somewhere. Um, Ericsson starts. That's It's a questionable from Eric Ten Hag, although that wouldn't be the first time people have questioned him, although that's my manager, so, you know, get wrecked, son. Anyways, we, we need to focus here. Adley with the ball. Wearing number 18. That must mean that uh, Casemiro's left. And, uh, okay, well, why am I questioning Eric Ten Hag? Because clearly he's got a plan here. And um, they've opened up the scoring. Appender opens up the scoring. Down 1-0 very, very late on in this one. They've got pace. They've got pace from the break. They've got really good attacking players. But why has my defense just allowed uh, uh, an offensive player to have that much space in the box? That is, that is absolutely unacceptable. Connor Bradley, I'm looking at you for that, son. That is a bit unacceptable from you. McAtee. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That was fantastic from McAtee. Pulling a man out into the more central areas. Opening up space for my boy right here. O'Reilly. I almost forgot his name, but O'Reilly. To pop up in, this, in the little space. Run into that area. And then attack and strike the ball. And of course, Onana's got glass, you know... Uh, wrists and he can't do much there to be honest he should probably save that and um yeah yeah anyways it wasn't struck that well but it was struck you know in the in the perfect spot you could say and we've got this game back in the balance gentlemen we can't be conceding directly after scoring that that is unacceptable and saw has been booked by the way which is not great for us uh well we, we've done it we've done a great job there Tariq mitchell connor bradley Connor Gallagher cuts at baseline. Oh my god, and McAtee has made it 2-1 inside 30 minutes. We've effectively turned this game around, and McAtee has, has been our best player. On the offensive end, he's phrased one, and he scored one. Fan damn tastic son. Sanko with the ball at the top. I don't know if Haraldson's onside. He is. He is onside. We've squared it to McAtee for the second of his day. The third of ours. And it's 3-1, Man United, Crumble FC, unfortunately, Crumble FC strikes again. McAtee, you absolute beaut. This is why we signed you for these types of moments. Makes the run perfectly, Haraldson, you are an absolute king. And just calm, calm as you like, in front of the goal, bang, left foot strike, let's go. 3-1 up, effectively, if we kill this tie now. Taking it back to the Hawthorns, you know Man United are absolutely cooked. Oh my god, McAtee. Oh, Onana with a great save. That could have been a McAtee hat trick. They're wanting to take him off. I'm going to leave him on for now. I'm going to try and... Oh no, I've, 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 done, I've, made, a, I've made a mistake of that. <laughs> oh, great ball into Sanko. Sanko! We're talking about Sancho. We're talking about Sanko and Sanko with a better effort. Okay, we are going to make some changes now. Wallace is going to come on. We need our club captain in these moments. He's going to come on for the young superstar McAtee. Absolute gem. Madge is going to come on for Gallagher. And McNamara is going to come on. As well as... Peralton will come off for Kuto. And a, a, another big call here. But the young McNamara brothers will both be coming on. And hopefully looking to try and make an impact in this massive UCL tie. Madger. Madger. Madger with a goal. Madger with a strike. Madger is magic. You absolute king. What the? What? 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 Oh my god, he's missed from there! Who is that? He is trash! Who is that? Oh, it's it's for Taisy. I tell you what, Bruno Fernandes wouldn't have missed that. Oh, into Connor Bradley. Connor Bradley, along the baseline. Oh, it could have been into James. James McNamara would have absolutely blistered that one away. Okay, we've got Jed Wallace to put in a fantastic cross here. Off of Madge's forehead. Make the run, and they've cleared it nicely into Kuto. Kuto, little layoff. Back post, I see you, Madge. Oh my god, it's a great back post defense. And we've got Katruda, who plays as a center back sometimes, as a right back in others. Oh god, I've given them a corner kick. 
Uh, later on in this one, they've got a corner kick. Tyreek Mitchell's coming off for Lissandra Martinez. I don't know why Martinez would be playing as a left back now. But they've got five seconds to try and, you know, score another. Get a two-goal deficit going into the away tie. If, if this if away goal stood, they would be absolutely screwed. Because that's four away goals. That would be insane. But nonetheless, 4-1 winners at Old Trafford. Like I said to you before the game, I'm quietly very confident and that's why because i know this man united side they crumble under pressure they've they've been doing it all season in the premier league what makes you think that in the champions league a bigger a better competition they would succeed what makes you think that we've come to old trafford we've conquered them with you know the mcnamara young boys and um we've been the better side and i'm fully confident that in the second leg we're going to batter them okay so taking a look at arsenal now we have had our run-ins with them in the past. I'm, I'm not sure if we won the first game. And that was at the Hawthorns. This one is obviously at the Emirates. Um, again, that front line isn't great. But last time I said that, they battered us, I think. I'm pretty sure they did. The back line, however, White, Bremer, Jimenez, and uh, Davies. Incredible. Of course, Ramsdale's an 87 overall. They've got Kimmich, Odegaard, and Rice in the midfield, which is also... Ooh, it's cooking um, their tactical vision is obviously set to gag and pressing they are going to press us incredibly well off of the ball um, Three wins in their last five and two draws. They have been dropping points. They are you know a ways off of us But if we beat them I don't want to say it, but I'm, I, I might have to it could be title wrapped up So there's a lot to play for they're trying to stand the title race. We're trying to eliminate them from it We did that to their, their North uh, London rivals and uh, they probably had a good laugh, but now we're going to do that to them, and Spurs fans are also probably going to have a good laugh. So, let's see what we can do with this fixture. Yeah, but this game is going to be about, you know, not letting Arsenal dictate the pace of it. Maybe slowing things down a, a little bit. I'm quite happy to walk out of here with a draw. Although, saying that, it's a very defeatist type mentality. And uh, young Eddie Nketiah, or old man Eddie Nketiah at this point, he's tested our goalkeeper early on, and they're going with a very short corner here. Sack it, take it into Odegaard. Odegaard, you're not driving down the, the baseline. Get wrecked, son. Okay, well. Well, that... we Boys, switch on. It's 0-0 still, but switch on. Please. This is uh, getting embarrassing. Kimmich to take it. They, they are going long. You can see it. They put it in the very good central area, but my goalkeeper's there. Okay, I see Haraldson. He's making a great run. Oh my god, that is an outstanding run from Haraldson. Squares it. McNamara with the goal. And as you can see right there, Arsenal have the best home record in the league. Better than ours, really? 14 wins and 3 losses. Well, it's about to be 4 losses. Wait, that would mean if they've, they've played if they've played 14 and lost 3. Well, sorry, if they've... I don't know now. Have they won 14 and lost 3 or have they played 14 and lost 3? I, I can't actually remember. They haven't drawn any though. That's the most important stat. Um, but anyways... We're adding to that three, it could be four. But McNamara with the opener. Again, Haraldson down the right-hand side, exposing Davies. Now look who's making that central run. Look who's making the central run. Oh my god, Arsenal are in absolute disarray. 19 minutes into this one, tunnel down, two shots, two goals. Haraldson has been instrumental in both of them. And both central midfielders, or the double pivot, have been great with feeding that front line with the ball over the top, exposing Davies with his insane attacking outlets and uh, his weak defensive nature. So, fantastic scenes, 2 nil up at the Emirates. Title could be done after this one. We've battered United, we're battering this lot right here right now. It's a great episode. Again, Saka down the right-hand side looking to cause havoc. But McAtee, oh god, McAtee made a great tackle. And back post! Oh, jeez, and just like that, Arsenal have put themselves back in the game. To be honest, I should have come away with the ball. Vega with the goal. That's not bad, you know. Well done, mates. Uh, but it's 2-1. We, we need to restructure, refocus, calm ourselves down a bit. What? What? Oh, no. Ramsell somehow gets a pair of gloves to it. And we've got a corner kick. I should have gone low to his, his right-hand side, but it's okay. O'Reilly to put it on somebody's forehead. I see it. I see it. But you know who doesn't? Ramsdale. Aaron Shamesdale. I do have him on the list, though, by the way. Um, I have Aaron Ramsdale on the list to potentially buy as a, as a goalkeeper if there is going to be a next season. We'll see. Although it might be slightly unrealistic, especially if Arsenal finish second. Why would they sell their best goalkeeper to... Um, 
to West Brom. It, it doesn't make sense. Uh, but I do have a few others. But we will talk about that in, in next episode or, or something like that. But uh, a great goal from Branthwaite. Tarring and header. Get wrecked. I don't know who that is um, that was defending him. You're rubbish. And um, up the baggies. Ref, blow the whistle. There we go. Half time. 3 1 up. The Emirates, awfully quiet, boys. You know your title race is run. And it's around this point in the season where Arsenal fans accept the reality that their team just isn't good enough to win the the, the, the honours, the medals. Um, but they play good football. So, you know, well done to that. Great trophy. Declan Rice being hounded on the ball here. No cutbacks, no easy opportunities. That's what I'm talking about. I will give you relentless corners. Um, yeah, we are going to make some changes. It's a bit risky just before a corner is about to be taken. Uh, but potentially on the break, we could work our magic. Wallace is coming on. Sanko will be coming on. Um, I am also going to rotate versus Man United in that second leg. We we don't really require too much from that game. Um, Kuto, I'm going to save you. I am going to save you. And Haraldson, what am I saying? No, not Haraldson. McNamara will be coming off as well for the likes of Saar, and we are going to swap Saar and Baranth weights around. Okay, very happy with those changes. What have, what, 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 what have I done? Oh, that's a great block. That's a brilliant block. I, I just, I don't know how to defend when they drive down the, the, the baseline right here. It just, it pisses me off. It's, it's such an OP thing for, for uh, the CPU to do these days in uh, FC. Like, look at this, like, he's, uh, he's untouchable. Because also, they give away stupid uh, free kicks these days as well. So, you might you might put in a good tackle, you might not. And um, either way, it's going to be given as, as a pin. And right now, Saka on the ball. Golden child. Get wrecked. Uh, but we, we're, 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 we've we brought on our really good players. Obviously, Saar being one of them. And it's a great save from the keeper at the near post. That's my Woodman. Um, and they, they've, they've had seven corners. Oh, my days. I mean, it's fair to say that Arsenal have been a good side, and maybe they haven't deserved uh, the this loss. Maybe they haven't. But you know what they do, because it's Arsenal, and they always get away with murder. And um, if we put them on the break, that's fine. It's the goals that matter in the end. That's the only stats that matters. That not the not the possession, not the, you know, corners, it's the, the goals. If you can't put the ball in the back of the net, you, you, you're not going to win the game. And, um... 4-1, Sanka with a goal. He does have these spells where he goes really cold and he goes really hot. And when he's really hot, that's when you need to, you know, start Sanko. And I thought that maybe coming into this episode, he would have that hot streak. It hasn't really worked out that well. But maybe this goal could ignite that little, you know, hot streak that we need later on in this, uh, or in this episode as well as in this season. I mean, it would be quite nice to have a, an extra 10 or so goals from our striker. Ramsdale, what are you doing, mate? You are so far out of position. It's unbelievable. And there you have it. 4-1 winners. And I think that puts us, what, 12 points clear at the top of the table? It's lonely at the top, you know. It is It is lonely. I wish we had, you know, somebody to communicate with. Not too close, but somebody within within the 3-2 the, the or, or, or two win category of us. But anyways, you know what? When you're elite, you're elite. We've had some excellent squad rotation so far this season. But now our attention switches to that fantastic Man United game at the Hawthorns. Under the lights. Champions League football. That's what you want. Um, and also, I'd like to see what uh, the other games, their results were as well. The quarterfinal first legs. Arsenal and Milan drew 1-1. Napoli and Bayern also drew. No, no. Terrible game. We obviously smashed United and Borussia Dortmund and Atletico Madrid drew 1-1. Well, it's all to play for in the second legs. Apart from our game, we're going to absolutely walk this one, hopefully. Maybe no, no early goals from United. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to be very comfortable in this one. Retain possession, not speed up things. And uh, just uh, pass through calmly. Okay, so taking a look at our slightly rotated side, Mullen does come in as well as Sanko in the forward line, as well as club captain Jed Wallace. In the, the midfield, we've changed uh, O'Reilly for Cullen, which is great, and obviously Saar does come in for the other McNamara brother with Kuto in the back line. Um, some strong changes, some strong rotations, but I think uh, it's strong enough to get us through to the next uh, the next round. That's, that could have been a pen. That, I'm not going to lie, that, that could have actually been a, a goddamn penalty. If uh, Sancho goes down there, 
we, we've we've given away a stupid pin. Okay, well, Kruto though, he's on the ball, lays it off beautifully, gets the ball back, puts it back into the path of Sanko, who smashes it past the goalkeeper Onana. Is it even worth me playing the rest of this game? We're 4-0 up, basically. I, You know what, guys? I know. It's the second leg. It's versus United. Even if we lose, it we, we, we should go through. We should. Look at that. 3-1 winners, 7-2 on aggregates. We will play the semifinals in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. But right now, we have the semifinals of the FA Cup versus... Sunderland at Wembley. We've got a trip to Wembley. It's going to be fantastic, beautiful, bright. Um, I don't even know who's in the other leg, to be honest. We, sh we should also have a look at that. Lots of things we're having a look at in this episode. If you don't mind, whilst I'm thinking about it, can you hit the like button, please? That would be great. If you have made it this far into the video, mad love, mad appreciation. Uh, but yes, 7-2 winners over Manchester United. Okay, we've come out the other side of, of, of the hectic fixture run. Uh, with with flying colors to be honest i i was not fully expecting us to to do that so we've, we've gone back to the the traditional training schemes and setups um looking just to maintain you know fitness and make sure that the certain boys are fully match fit and sharp and ready to go when given the opportunity as you can see mutant wood and timber okay well maybe not Timber, but swift they're all not uh, fully sharp and that's because we were focusing on energy so that's it's a bit wayward okay so the semi-finals consist of West Brom versus Sunderland and Leeds versus Chelsea. Now, if you've been following this career mode, you guys know that I want Leeds United to beat Chelsea and obviously has to beat Sunderland. And we face them in the final because Leeds have been the biggest thorn in our ass for the entirety of this career mode. Maybe not this season because they got relegated, but in season number one, they knocked us out of the championship, uh, you know, playoffs, making us repeat the championship in season number two. In season number three, they came up with us for the, the Premier League and they were very good. They ended up beating us uh, in the one game, we ended up beating them in the other. So there is a bit of a rivalry there and I want to see that rivalry almost be completed with a final in the FA Cup. That would be absolutely fitting to potentially how this career mode could end. So Leeds, I'm supporting you just so I can beat you in the final. Hopefully you guys can get the job done versus Chelsea. And, I mean, it's Chelsea. They're, they're terrible anyway. They are the modern-day Spurs, or they are just Spurs 2.0. Um, anyways, we've got Sunderland. Let's have a look at uh, what their team looks like, how they're going to potentially tactically set up versus the mighty West Brom. Okay, so Sunderland, in their last five games, they've lost just once, winning four. That's not too bad. Their team doesn't look that horrible. Um, Ashish is, is probably going to be their best player. I know about him. He's very good. Um, Patterson's a decent goalkeeper, but they don't have any, you know, like, eye-watering, you know, guys that I need to, like, fully focus on. It does say that Alshish is a key attacking player, but in terms of their overalls, it's not looking good, bro. They have the standard approach for the tactical division, so, again, nothing to really say or talk about there. Um, but yeah, 72, 73, and 72 overall. It's actually very impressive that they've made it to the, the, the semi-finals of the FA Cup. But I think, boys, your cup run could be over. Okay, Wembley. I don't think... Have we been to Wembley before? I don't think we have. Obviously, we've, we've consistently been knocked out in the, the cup, you know, games. And uh, the season, we've taken the FA Cup a bit more seriously. But I, I, don't, I can't remember if we have been to Wembley, though. Like, was, for, was the, the playoff... Uh, run that that was that was in our either, each stadium if we made it to the final we would have made it to Wembley um so yeah our first appearance at Wembley in the career mode that's not too bad you know he's looking to cut it back okay he's done a good job come on boys focus please great save Woodman and we've we've been tested more than what we've done the testing that's not good enough that is not good enough gentlemen I'm expecting more no complacency in the semi-finals I know Sunderland are not the best of teams but come on we, it's like it's almost like playing Man United or Man City in the final. Good ball, good ball over the top. You're into the young James McNamara who is offside. That's 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 a bit annoying. I thought I timed that so well. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. I will be doing my own VAR check here. What the hell? What, 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 what is happening here? What, what is hap- No, man. Show me, go- What? Anyways, VAR check. 
Pause it there. Uh, uh. Yeah, okay. Let's 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 have a look here. Cause I think this game has has really screwed me. Uh where is he? Nope. There there he is. Okay. That is tighter than anything I've ever seen in my entire that that's this is the Garnacho goal versus Arsenal. Arsenal fans will say, well VAR was correct. And many other fans will say, well, actually, we have no actual evidence to prove that is correct, apart from two lines drawn by, by a person, drawn by a person, it's not an automated system, it's a person who's drawn those lines, and bang! What do you, what, what do you mean, if we look at my player's foot there, his foot is behind the defender down there, and in terms of the arm, well, you can't score with your arm, so therefore that doesn't count as you being offside. Maybe the knee, maybe borderline, but hmm. this has gone natural all over again. I'm not even going to lie. Like that is that is closer than close. And even the defender in the back, as you can see, his his boots is also stretching out wide. They've they've gotten very lucky there, Sunderland. Uh, honestly, I don't trust the refs. Uh, I think VAR in itself is is BS, especially when you have people who can't run it properly and um i think we've been hard done by here i honestly do they have been absolutely incredible their defensive approach structure at the back not allowing them to you know be stretched or pulled out of position they keep in their shape they keep in their structure and uh, we're finding it at this moment in time very hard to break down this is what a semi-final is supposed to be like take notes man united although that was a quarter-final game but it's it's been it's been a good game. It's been a good game. Just taking a look at some of the stats at the break. We are dominating dominating possession. We've had one shot to there too. So we haven't really tested the goalkeeper that much. We've got a lot more passes. We've put in one more tackle. Um and our keeper's made two more saves. So we haven't even tested their goalkeeper, which is a disgrace for the team that's currently leading the the, the way in the Premier League. Onto the semi-finals of the Champions League versus a championship side in Sunderland. It just goes to show the, the pure quality of the English tier system. You can be in the championship, but you can still be very good. The execution of our attacking outlet has not been very good. Oh my god, they've made a mistake at the back. We square it to Connor Gallagher. Thank you. Just as I was about to criticize us, our execution has been bad. But they made a mistake. They mumbled and jumbled on the ball. And we capitalize on that very nicely. I, I I appreciate that man, James McNamara. Thank you very much. Look at this. He's looking at the at the roses and the daisies and trying to set up a picnic. And we say no, thank you. From the penalty spots, Gallagher with a fantastic strike, and um, Patterson, unfortunately, can't get there. He's he's been uh, very much out of the game. We haven't really tested him, and the first time we do, he can't make the save. Oh, McNamara's played in. Connor Gallagher yet again. Connor Gallagher from distance! Oh my god, Patterson, hang your head in shame. Your team has done so well to keep you in the game up until this point, and you've let. Okay, the first one, uh, I can understand, but that one, maybe you could do a lot better with. Connor Gallagher with a fantastic goal. 2 0 up, let's go. Okay, so we are going to make a few changes. McNamara is going to come off for Sanko. Wallace will come on for McAtee, and I'm thinking Cullen can come on for Sosa, as well as Kuto on for Connor Bradley. Um, we do have one more change to make. Let's just throw him on. Sark can come on for Branthwaite. That's... Oh, Jesus. I was going to say, that's what I'm talking about. Never mind. Never fear. Goalkeeper makes a save. He should really catch that. It, it wasn't flying in that fast. Uh, they're making a change. Ten minutes to go in this one. Trying to claw something out of this game. And, oh my god, they have. They absolutely have. That's a great attempt from Mateta. Uh, the captain, okay. He, he's come on, he's taken the armband, and he's taken the responsibility for his side. And it does make things a little bit more interesting in the final 10 or so minutes of this one. To be fair, Sanko, you should do a whole lot better than that. It's a good looping header over the goalkeeper. There's, this is the last kick of the game. We've blocked it effectively, and they've got themselves a corner. Saar is going to get booked. I can't remember what for. But they scored off of their last one. They are making a change. There's no time. This is the final movement of the game. The semi-final that could potentially go to extra time, which is not what we want. Alshish 
puts it in a very good area, and my keeper has claimed it, and we are through to our first ever cup final of the career mode. Now, that is fantastic. The treble is on. I don't want to say anything. I've, I've been thinking about it the entire episode. The treble is on. Make of that what you will. Connor Gallagher, you absolute king. You have been our, our signing of the career mode, potentially. Definitely our signing of the summer. You guys can let me know down below. Um, we've got one more game to go. It is uh, versus the Blades. And it's going to be a tough one. We've had a very tough game here. A tough ending, at least. But we'll see how things uh, go. Come on! Let's go! 2-1 winners on both occasions, Leeds United versus West Brom. That's a final that I want to see. Okay, I'm even happier now. Hold that L, Chelsea, by the way. Hold that L. Poch has been failing you since before time. Anyways, point is, that FA Cup final just got a whole lot tastier. The the the, the storylines that have just, you know, been pulled out of the, the, out of the woodwork from Season 1, from Season 2 even... Well, now things are looking tasty. Okay, okay. Very exciting for the next episode. But we need to focus back on the Prem versus the Blades. Okay, so we do have a few tired players here, which is not great. Wallace will come in. Madge is going to come in for Gallagher. With McNamara also dropping out for Sanko. Saar is going to come in for the other McNamara. We're going to swap Branthwaite in him. That's fine. That's okay. Mullen I'm going to give a try to, even though he's not fully match fit, which is a bit shit. Um... And then, other than that, I'm, I'm quite okay with, I'm quite okay with that. I'm, I am also going to go with a more offensive structure, so, you know, make of it what you will, it's going to be, it's going to be essentially this. Uh, why is, oh wait, I, I, I did a, a wrong thing there. There we go. So that's what, it, what it's going to look like. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Let's hop on straight into the game. Okay, kicking things off here is the, why have I been saying the Blades? It's Brentford. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I didn't even actually like register that I I'm an idiot okay we've played Sheffield United on more than like two occasions this season so yeah we, we've we're done playing them um it's it's up against Brentford who are actually a, a lot harder than what I was, I was anticipating so you know what we need to be fully switched on in this one and make sure that uh, everything is ticking over very nicely Well, Woodman to the rescue, 10 minutes in. And uh, he's pulled off a, a miraculous save. Uh, Sud Sudukov, I don't know, uh, pumps one from distance and it's, it's creeping in. It's definitely creeping in. But they've got themselves a corner kick. They're looking to take it short. Why do so many teams in FC24 take corner kicks short? I know that they can easily just dribble along the baseline and score the goals. Yes, it's very annoying. Um, but it, it's, it's not the, the most realistic thing. Connor Bradley into Sanko, quite nasty. Oh my god, he's found club captain Jed Wallace, and it's a great save force out of the Brentford goalkeeper, Andrew. Did we sell him to, to Brentford? I'm not too sure. We've sold quite a few uh, young players, but... Oh, jeez. You know what? That's the first time this season where I've been expecting it, and he's, he's, he's horribly mistimed that. Okay, well, a little mishap. But we will, we will learn from that and proceed. 20 minutes in, it's still null, null. Oh, I see the, I see Mullen. Mullen with a, that was a weak effort, mate. Andrew, you might, you might, you might be rubbish. Mullen with a great goal into the space, stretching him quite nicely, opening up the, the wider angles and attacking from those wide areas of the field. What? Look at the space. Magic from an angle. Okay, never mind, never fear. O'Reilly's there to collect it. Chips it into the attacking area and it's gone out for a corner kick for yours truly, the Baggies. Okay, Matt O'Reilly this time to take it. Puts it in a great area and it's cleared away. Well, Saar this time. Back to Sosa. Sosa with a little ball over the top here. Who is making the central run? It's that man, Sanko. Thank you very much. 2-0 on the day. Let's go. 52 minutes gone. Uh, Magic with a great run off of the shoulder, playing him just on side was a, a slightly deeper Brentford midfielder or defender, one of them. Either way, great stuff, greatness right there. Little squared ball, fantastic. Mainly the, the goal scorer turns into a great provider there. Ah, oh, you love it. 52 minutes gone by, 2-0 up. Good ball straight at the top, a little punch in just behind the back line of 
brain fit and that's my captain. That's my club captain, Jed Wallace. You know, I was thinking <clears throat> at one point in this career mode, you know, getting rid of him. I can't. I, I, I love him too much. He doesn't even have a real face. But that's how much I love him. He pops up with the, the with the, the massive assists. He pops up with the massive goals. Time and again, this career mode, he has absolutely saved me. Absolutely. And uh, just again, showing how good he is. Whether it's on the right, on the left, down the middle, he is fan damn -tastic. Okay, we are 3-0 up. So I am going to make a few changes to the, the system at hand. Um, Kuto is going to come on. That's fine with me. McNamara will come on for Sanko. Wallace is going to stay on though. I do have a sneaking suspicion that in one of these uh, games we will be potentially be lifting the, the Prem title. So I do want him to be doing it. I want him on the field when uh, the ceremony happens and I want him lifting the title, of course. Even though Lloyd Kelly for this season, he's been the, the, the stand-in captain. He's the vice captain. Um, it's more fitting for Jed to lift the, 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 the main big boy trophy. Um, so he's going to stay on the field. He is going to be getting a few more games in the Prem. Uh, in order for that to happen but so far with the changes at hand i'm quite happy conor gallagher you are going to get a bit of a rest that's okay um Madger is going to stay on mcnamara is up front it's it's looking good it's looking fantastic how the season is winding down uh yeah i was, I, I was gonna say i was gonna say you know anyways that is a thrill drubbing of brentford i don't know why i was calling them the, them the blades anyway thomas frank hold that l uh, Andrew, I'm pretty sure I sold you to Brentford like two seasons ago. But anyways, nonetheless, three points closer to a potential title. Now that that is that is incredible. Anyways, guys, we are going to end things off right here, right now. Come back for the next episode. Um, yes, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and of course, I hope you guys have a damn great day. I'm out.